All right, welcome to the third match. This is Scary Bob here, the third match of the Logic G Series tournament uh, between Arkea. This is the finals uh, between Arkea and Exodus. Arkea has done some pretty good matches so far, winning both as Marines and Aliens on Summit. So, um, Exodus basically has to, you know, run the, the, the final three matches uh, to win this. Um, they did that against Inversion, losing the first two against Inversion and coming out with the last, winning the last three. Um, but X RK has shown very strong play today. I'm not sure they're going to be able to uh, um, really pull that off here. Um, especially Arkea being very good as Marines. Here's uh, the, the deadly Fena and Tane combo pushing in the system waypoint and just destroying Illidan there. Um, Llama looks like he's running around, uh, maybe trying to put some pressure on system or uh, West Skylights to take that RT down. Ammo and Square looks like they're taking down Topos, so trying to drain uh, Marine Res early, but Fena and Tane just pushing down a cargo and killing TRC. Uh, second Hive was dropped, uh, and it looks like it might be going to go down. Uh, they killed a bunch of the Hydras, that all those two Hydras going. And Aliens kind of descending on this Hive, but then now when they're up against Fana and Tane, Zups goes down to Tane, Squirrely goes on to Fana, Tane takes on Llama, and it all did. I mean, outstanding play by these two players, uh, uh, Fana and Tane. They just went 4v2 and 1. Uh, TRC getting up there, but he knows he doesn't really have a chance. I mean, they might just lose in this hive right here. Uh, it'll probably take um, maybe the whole five five players, most of the team, uh, the majority of the team, to kill these two players right in uh, uh, cargo, which just shows you how good they are. Sup's getting a little dangerous, getting almost shot to death there. Uh, but yeah, they're pushing in all four players again. Uh, see if they can take out. They isolate Fana and take him down. Tane, of course, takes on two by himself. But I think four. Uh, who's gonna put this off? Oh, and Tane with a rifle butt finishes off the last player. So amazing play by Tane there. He just clears out those final two aliens, and I think that might just be the hive here. He's uh, axing this hive to death. Um, and it looks like uh, Koryu and Fana coming up to support him, but the aliens, I mean, they just, there's just four of them still dead. Uh, cargo does finish um, in time, but I'm not sure there's much they can do about it. Uh, it's down to 10% with two more Marine players incoming. And Kane's just going to finish it off. Uh, that is a devastating blow to Exodus. Um, I think this is pretty late, uh, European and, and uh, Europe right now, uh, definitely past midnight. So I think these Archaea players just want to finish this. And so they're doing very strong, very quick, very aggressive play to basically uh, end Arca <laughs> Exodus right now and win this final matchup. I find it going down and being a little more aggressive than he probably should have. Should have waited for Tane there, but uh, Tane's doing... Uh, is having an amazing game right now. Look at this. Uh, KDR, he, he is eight kills and zero deaths. Tane is just a machine right now. And looks like Lum is going to give him his first death in the match three and a half minutes into the game. So that shows you how strong uh, uh, Tane has played here. Cargo is dropped again. Um, Exodus, they, they, I mean, they've, in that version, uh, Final match, the fifth game and final matchup between them and Inversion. They did lose the Hive early against Inversion, but they were able to redrop, you know, collect themselves, and, you know, come back to a win. So, Exodus is not out of this game yet. Um, losing Cargo was d hard, um, but it was not game ending by itself. Unfortunately, at that time that they were just to try to defend Cargo to the, to the last, Marines got up seven RTs. Uh, aliens have been on one RT the entire match. Um, very problematic for them. And I think this is going to be, this is what's going to undo them. Uh, armor 1 finally going. There's no phase gates this, mat, this game. So Arke is trying to do the same thing they did in Summit and go uh, without uh, phase tech. Uh, where the game is finally researching. Uh, they start out with armories and uh, mines seems to be the counter if, if you can't get that uh, uh if you don't get that fast obs up for a beacon you just get a bunch of um 
bunch of mines around base in case the aliens rush. You know, you come in and can jump out and defend, more or less. Uh, Battalion Trefnik's pushing into pipeline. Uh, the aliens start in hive. Elmo and Illidan trying to do the best to defend, and they can't lose that uh, RT. Well, I guess like they can lose that RT, but it'd be a very devastating blow. Uh, they do not have a second RT anywhere else. Um, Cargo Hive is probably going to go up here, and that'll be their second RT, but otherwise, other than that, I mean, Marines pretty much have the rest of the RTs on the map. Tears looks like uh, Trefton's cleaning up all those RTs there, and they do go lose that RT there, so aliens are down to zero RTs. They have enough to, they do have enough to drop um, uh, two more RTs, but this is, you know, this is not a good position to be in. They gotta clear our Trefniks and uh, um, be able to get that RT dropped and drop cargo RT. Um, but they got a problem because now they can do phase gate up in sis in uh, um, this is my point. Uh, wide junction then. So Arkea is doing uh, doing their best to just you know push hard and end this as fast as they can. It looks like a lot of pressure on these extra tis bases. Uh, looks like RT was dropped in uh, cargo, and it's going up. I would expect to see uh, pipeline redropped at some point here. Tears, he taking a ton of damage just trying to get into that vent. I don't think he's going to be able to do much uh, with it looks like maybe t uh, you know 30 health or so. That uh, what phase gap and wide junction is gonna be pretty problematic. Almost ended up there, trying to shoot some parasites, missing m pretty much all of them there. Uh, Llama and Elmo trying to defend the hive, but they just bypass the hive and just throw straight for the RT. Um, Arcane knows what knows what's up in this map. Uh, it's hard for aliens to uh, keep up more than about two RTs. Uh, the distances between RT locations on this map is very large, and so killing um. RTs is a very effective way to just, you know, prevent aliens from getting anything. On a typical map, on a typical map with about three to four RTs for aliens, uh, you'd see, you know, some players pretty close to phase, but, you know, Squirrelly is probably the closest, and he's only barely half half the number of uh, uh, P-Res to get a... Um, to get a fade there. And it looks like Eagle Eye with... Uh, <laughs> he finally goes down to TRC. A uh, combination of mines, med packs, and nano shield kept him up against uh, TRC for quite a long time. Tain and Trefnix pushing into sub uh, or cargo here. Looks like they're going to keep hitting that RT. It's down to 38%. Uh, would love to see. Um, looks like Llama was killed there, so he can't even go over the heal. And the RT does go down. Uh, they do have enough to drop two RTs, but Fan is just sitting there. Um, preventing them from doing anything in pipeline, and it looks like they're just you know, Tain, Trefix, and Eagle are just covering a uh, uh, cargo here. Um, Exodus is a tough spot here. Is Fana. <laughs> he knows Squirrely is there. Lava spawns in. Squirrely and Zups are there. They they need to kill Fan if they want to get that RT back. Uh, same thing here. They need to kill uh, Tain and Trefix if they want that RT back. But you know, Elmo goes down with a shotgun. Zups and TRC. Um, They've got to do their best to kill this guy here. Fan is still alive against Llama. Pushes in, gets one bite, but not enough to kill Fana. Uh, Elmo, looks like Elmo wants to push in there, try to get, finish off Fana here, but he does not. Squirrely, Squirrely's chance now. Fana once again cleaning up, showing his strength. 1v3, basically a bunch of stults there. Um, that alone allows, you know, the rest of his team and Cargo to basically demolish this hive there, and it's going to go down. Exodus knows that it's pretty much done. They have no RTs. Uh, the kid drops stuff, but Fana and the rest of the team is clearing them out, so... Cargo goes down. And it looks like Arkea is going to take this matchup 3-0. So congratulations to Arkea. They have just won the Logitech G Series Tournament. Um, with some very strong gameplay here. Um, it was some good matches. Exit just had some good games, but they just, you know, unfortunately they just couldn't uh, uh, match up to Arkea's uh, strength here on this game. So congrats to Arkea, and that's the end of this uh, tournament. Uh, 
Good job to all teams that played in.